Fable 2 is arguably Xbox's most ambitious exclusive game and many people's childhood. Today we're taking a look at emulation status of Fable 2 on Xenia in 2022. So first I tried the game on the latest Xenia master build and I realized that the frame rate is capped at 30 and there are graphical glitches that are really annoying and I found out that this game has community made patches that increase the frame limit to 60 and fix graphical issues. If you didn't know, patches only work on the Canary build of Xenia. So I got the patches and the latest Canary build from Xenia's GitHub page. Link to all pages in the video are mentioned in the description below. The patch installation is very easy, just copy the downloaded patches folder over to your Xenia directory. Head into patches folder that you just copied and search for Fable 2. Open the patch file and now you can toggle individual patches by setting the is enabled line to true. It's better to set every single one for Fable 2 to true. So I did that and saved the file. After I applied the patches I just wanted to make sure that the apply patch setting is enabled in the config file of Xenia. After that I decided to make a shortcut for my game Fable 2. To be honest I'm too lazy to open Xenia each time and open the game's ISO. So I got back to the game and yeah graphical issues were fixed and the frame limit was set to 60. But a new problem appeared out of nowhere. The blue bar on the right hand side. So it turned out this issue was because of the development typos and I just needed to install another version of Xenia Canary. The good thing about installing another version is that you can just replace the files with your current build. So I did that and got back to the game and the blue bar was gone. But again there was another problem. So many problems. It looked like that there is a cooldown for my button. Hold. I couldn't hold the skip dialog button after a certain amount of time. So I turned back to my Xenia config and edited the HID to X input. And then restarted the game. Finally, after a thousand times of trying and failing, it looked like I can finally play the game without issues. Hmm, that was somewhat lacking in... Well, it was just plain nasty, I'm afraid. And here, in the middle of my playthrough, I pressed the F6 key on keyboard to open up the post-processing options. I turned on NVIDIA FXAA Normal and AMD Fidelity FX with the sharpness of 0.2 stops and CAS of 1. This combination will make any of your Xenia games much, much better in terms of looks and graphics. And I also ran into a very strange NPC with a familiar voice. What's the matter with you? Oh, little ones, my situation is unbearable. Words can't even begin to describe it. Get that letter straight to Belinda. Don't let her mum get it. Yeah, this was the voice of James Corden. To be honest, I, I was surprised to uh, hear his voice. So I finished the childhood chapter without any issues and I really liked it. But after finishing the childhood chapter, the big problems began to arise. Looks like you and your doggy have broken graphics and missing textures. I managed to find a fix on YouTube and replace some files inside the game content folder and then I restarted the game. The game looked fine and the models were rendering correctly. But after my character has gone to another location, there the same issue was present again. Turned out this was not a permanent fix. So in, in case of compatibility, the game is not playable yet. But if you can tolerate these issues, you can continue to play the game. To be honest, uh, this gave me my first taste of Fable 2 and overall I would rather wait until these problems are fixed and I look forward to further developments. Fable 2 has improved so much in the past years in Xenia and feels uh, within reach but it still has a little more to show. Thanks for watching this guys, um, hope you enjoyed this video and if you like my content you can watch my other videos. Peace.